Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In one of the videos that I did on the restoration series of the CRF320, which as you know is not completed yet, I showed you the gears that I had 3D printed to replace the damaged gears that, um, that I found on both the uh, FM and the AM tuning, as well as the shortwave. The ones here took a few uh, iterations to get right, especially the diameter of the shaft. The one here I got right first time and it's working very well. It's smooth. They're all working very well, but I couldn't leave well enough alone because I wanted to try resin printed gears and nylon gears. And that's what I ordered from PCB Way, and they've kindly sponsored this video. So here we are. I have um, ordered two different versions. They're both resin, but one of them is nylon. And as you know, I can only print with filament, which does affect the accuracy of the, um, especially very tight diameters. And I wanted to see just how well it would work on here. So what do we got? It looks, it looks very, very good. I'm just uh, concerned about one thing because uh, I adjusted the dimensions of the gear that I printed to fit use, and using my um, filament printer. I just want to make sure that I've got this right in terms of diameter and this spacing before I make this shareable. These are three the same. And before I, um, well, put it out there if anybody wants to print them out themselves. These are these are the small ones. They look good too. Again, I'm not sure about those diameters and I'm going to remove those and try them. But they certainly came out very well. This is amazing. I, I'm not even sure which one is uh, nylon and which one is not. Let's see what I've got here. What did I do here? I recall that I designed this in a STL file, a print file, where one is inside the other. Yeah, that's right. That's what I did. I, I designed it like this, so that when you print it, you do one print and you get both gears. And that's why these guys have come out as five, five. Good. Now, which one was that? This is the nylon. I ordered two of the nylon and five of the standard material. So let me see if they, if they look exactly the same. I'm going to mix them up and I don't want to do that. Now, if you don't know, nylon is the material they used on the original gears. They don't look much different. Do they? These are fairly flexible. These are too. So what is the difference? I don't know. That's what I'm going to find out. And I think I'm not going to need to try them all because if the resin prints are as accurate as I think they are, then the sizes will be exactly the same. So these are the nylon ones. And of course, I'm going to add these to, well, that's, that looks pretty much identical. If anything, that looks a bit thicker than this one. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove at least one of those and that one, try and fit these and see how they come out. And if these things work well, then I'm going to put these, um, this project onto the share section of the PCB, PCB Way website. And anybody who wants to can order them themselves. And I have to warn you, you do so at your own risk. You know, you place the order, they do a, uh, an audit to make sure that the pricing that they quote originally stays the same. So please wait for that confirmation, check it and decide afterwards. If there's any alteration that's required to these diameters, I'll make them on the STL file. And when I post it, I'll post it with those alterations. Let me try them. Well, it seems I got this one right. This thing fits in, mind you, the previous one, 
I had to break it apart because what I'd done is I'd put in a little bit of glue just on the edge of this, this serrated edge and fitted it like that with a little bit of glue and I think I might have used a bit too much glue because it was stuck. Now this thing fits perfectly. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to put a couple of dabs of glue on here and that fits perfectly. It fits nicely into that recess there as well. So this is going to be just fine. This one's going to be fine. I'm using the, this is the, um, what is this? This is the nylon one. Good Lord, I can't tell the bloody difference. I can't tell the difference. Yeah, this is the nylon one. <laughs> I shouldn't have mixed them up. I think the, they feel... Yeah, this is the standard material. A little bit smoother. This is the nylon one. I think I'll use the standard one for now. These two are nylons. I can only tell because the the um, it seems a little bit rougher here. So I'm going to use the standards. I've got five of them. And it fits perfectly well too. Perfect. Okay. I'll put that on. We'll try it on there and see how it goes. And then I'll get to one of the small gears and see how we get along there as well. All right. I've removed the gear that I had produced and I'm using one of the, uh, the standard material resin printed and it goes in perfectly. Beautiful. Now this one, because it's resin printed, it was more exact. So it is, the diameter is slightly bigger. I don't mind that. What it means is that I will also put a little dab of just glue on here and then slide that in. I don't need to sand it or anything. With this one here, I had to sand it because the uh, filament print actually sort of bubbles out and it was too tight. So this one is going on a little tighter and this one's going in a little smoother, which is fine, but it is the right diameter. There is no shift there. There's no movement. So that's good. And these again, normal print. So what I'm going to do is replace these guys. Actually, this one's going to be kept for posterity. And I'm going to replace this and stick it in here and put it back. And I'll do the same with the FM. And then we'll test it to see how it feels. Really, that's all you can do is how does it feel when you turn it? Okay, let me get on with it. Here we are. Not that you can see them. But this thing is moving very, very smoothly. So this gear worked very well. Exactly the same as the one I printed, perhaps... Internally, it'll be a bit smoother because uh, it is a lot more precise. So that's perfect. And the same applies for these guys. I'm so happy with this. This whole gear thing was just a monster that I'd created in my own head. Everywhere I read, this thing was considered a problem. And now I've got a lot of solutions. Okay, I made a very, very slight modification to this. I made absolutely no changes to the big gear, but I did make a slight change to the small gears. And um, what I did was I increased or decreased this diameter ever so slightly. It is now at 5.5 at millimeters, which makes it just a slight bit tighter, which means that um, you may not even need any glue to put it on. And I did use a bit of glue. I think maybe it'll just make it a little bit tighter. I don't want to make it too tight because remember, one of the reasons these gears are breaking is because these gears are actually changing size with expansion and contraction. They don't expand and contract at the same rate as the, uh, the shaft, and therefore they break. That's what I've been led to understand. So I think this will make it a little bit better without tightening it too much. Okay, so now what I do is I'm going to export this to an STL file. And this is it over here. So the idea is that when you put this in your um, printer, on your 3D printer slicer, you see that straight line? This will print on the flatbed. If you do this on a uh, filament printer, or actually on the top of it, say, a resin printer. But the idea was to make this one STL file. And uh, my purpose was to get the whole set as one print, which I hope would make the cost lower. So there you go. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to share these to PCBWay's uh, share site. I'm going to put the links down in the description if you want to 
if you want to print them yourself. When you do order, make sure that you wait for the, uh, the price audit to come back and tell you the actual final price because those immediate quotes can sometimes differ. I don't want people to get misled. I have no interest in that. If you want the STL files, just ask. You'll get them. In fact, I think you'll be able to download them from the actual uh, PCBWay website uh, for free. So make your choice. All right. I hope that's been useful. I really hope that this whole mystery of the gears has been sort of demystified. It is not a big issue. These things are pretty simple. The fact that we can do them at home or um, cheaply is, is great because, quite frankly, ordering these things from the States, and, and I really commend the people who produced these and made them available, nothing against them, but trying to get them from the States for someone in Europe is a real pain. Customs comes in, the cost becomes exorbitant, exorbitant and I just don't feel as necessary. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, click like, share, subscribe, and all that jazz. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can do so on Patreon and PayPal. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. And most of all, stay safe.